today I'm going to be building a two-way duct transition plenum for a furnace. Um, I have not been at the job site and not had the opportunity to actually measure up what this is going to look like. But my dad drew up plans for me. It needs to be 16 on the bottom, 18 and a half inches tall, and then it's adapting from that 16 up to 19, 17 inches long on the top and 20 inches long on the bottom. And then he wants it straight in the back and he wants it straight on the left side. So these side panels are going to look like this. Uh, this side panel is going to look like this but flipped. And then the front and back will look like this except one will be angling forward and one will be straight. So 17 by 19, 2, 16 by 20, 18 and a half inches tall. You're always uh, writing up plans for this kind of stuff on random material. This is the box from the furnace. Okay, so we'll, we'll make this back panel first, which we're going to add half inch lips and put the one inch female lips on these side panels. So that means we want 19, so we're going to cut it 19 and a half. And then we'll cut this side panel, which is right here, um, which we want it to be 20 on the bottom, that's the larger dimension. So we're going to go 22 because our drive bender that makes the lip that receives the quarter inch lip consumes an inch of material. So we're going to set this at 22. So starting with that back panel, we've got our 19 and a half. So we're going to be notching in like that to make space for our S lip. And then down here on the bottom, we're going to go to our 16 and a half right here. And we're going to stay a half inch up for where this actually gets cut because of our uh, half inch lip on the bottom. So this is going to get cut just like that. And then we can go ahead and put notches in here. So we're going to go full inch on the top because of the uh, S lip connection. And then on the bottom, we're only going to go half inch up and a quarter inch in. Straight on the left, angled toward the right. Now we can cross brace this. We want to have the outside facing down when we cross break it because the cross break that will be left in the sheet needs to be pointing outwards. Imagine you could actually cross break it either direction, but I've never heard of anyone doing it that way. Now we come over to this piece right here. This has an adjustable um, opening. So right now it's already set to a quarter inch. So we're just gonna bend a quarter inch lip in right there. And now we could actually do our half inch one out. We have to adjust this. Before we do our next quarter inch, that'll prevent us from mashing one of the corners. Just like that. We'll set it back to a quarter. We'll do this one. So there's our back panel. So this will screw right down to the furnace and connect with S-slip on the top. Now we'll do our left side panel. It'll be 22 here on the bottom. And it's adapting to 17. We're staying, let's mark this like that so that we know this is the inside. We're staying straight on this edge. This is where the angle's gonna be. So let's measure. 17 plus 2 inches for the female lip, 19. I know it's really hard to see those marks on camera, but I don't like it when they're sharpie all over my transitions. So I tend to avoid... I tend to avoid using sharpie if possible. I'll go ahead and cut these. So same thing here, except now we're going to go an inch in here. Only a half inch up on the bottom. Up here we'll go a full inch. I'll try to link in the description to some of these sheet metal tools that I'm using. We gotta cross brace this. Outside's facing down. And just a little bit. You don't want to go too aggressive with these. Here's our machine that actually uh, puts that lip in there. We're gonna just run this through here like this. We've got the outside facing down. And there you can see 
it puts this lip that the quarter inch will slip into and then this lip will pound over the top like that. I forgot to mention I added one inch to this for the S lip on the top um, because there will be one inch of overlap and this 18 and a half is the space between the furnace and the actual um, ductwork. So that's why we added an extra inch there. Um, and if it's not, then he'll have to trim this down slightly, which wouldn't be an issue. So now that we have these two made, we can actually measure this angle and see that this piece is about 20 inches, but we need to add our half inch for that lip on the bottom. So we're going to go with 20 and a half for the height on this one instead of 20 like we did on the last one. Let's check this one as well. I think it's going to be pretty similar. This one's a little bit shorter, like 19 and 3 quarters plus a half would be 20 and a quarter. So we'll cut our 20 and a half one first and then we'll trim down that remainder piece to make this right hand side one. So now we're pretty much just going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. So we're going to go 16 and a half here, half inch up. Notch these, half inch up, quarter inch in, because this is the one with the quarter inch lips. Oh no, we made it wrong. Because look. <laughs> supposed to be straight on the right hand, on the left hand side not the right hand side I got switched up so I definitely made this piece wrong because it was supposed to be straight on the left hand side and angled on the right now I would normally just throw this piece out if it was for a regular customer but this transition is actually for um, a house that my dad owns so I think that he'd probably prefer that I just still use the piece so what I'm gonna do flatten the lips out and then cross brace it back the other direction so give me one moment there we go like nothing ever happened so it actually it actually looks great <laughs> except for that that scratch I put for the inside is on the outside now um, and you can see this is a little bit wavier than if it had just been done the regular normal way but now the piece is correct so it'll still work now I'll move on to this um, right hand panel. Now we're just going to make this last piece. So we want it to be 22 on the bottom. Top is going to be 17 plus 2. Just like so. So it's going to sit in there like this, which means this right here will be the inside. So we'll mark that for the inside. Now we can go ahead and proceed cutting our notches on the bottom. That's what all those little triangles on the floor are from. You just have to be thinking about each little aspect of it because it's so hard to, or so easy rather, to do it wrong like I did with that last piece. So if you're daydreaming or something, or talking because you're making a video, sometimes you end up making more mistakes. These two-way transitions are always a little bit more difficult because every piece is different versus when you're just doing a one-way transition then you only have um, two different pieces. You have to make four pieces still obviously but two of them are the same um, for each side. Okay, so we'll bend half inch lip out on the bottom there. And this one's actually gonna go a little bit over 90 so this little flip right here stops it at 90 but we're gonna flip it because we wanna go just tiny bit past. Because it's like this, it needs to be just a little bit past 90 to account for that. With that, we're actually ready to put this thing together. For this part, it is highly recommended to wear some kind of ear protection because you're gonna be hammering on it a bunch. So you just take that quarter inch lip, get it started into there. Just like so.
And there's our two-way transition. Last thing we do is make sure everything's correct. From 16 right there to 19 and 20 right there to 17. It should be 18 and a half plus an inch for the S-flip, which it looks like it is. So, um, if it ended up that it was just a little bit too tall, you can always trim this down just a little bit and notch the corners slightly to get your S-slip to fit. Did the transition work good for you then? Yeah, I had to trim it a uh, an inch okay. and a half, but. That was a little bit tall. I wasn't sure on his drawing if it was supposed to be like 18 after the S-slip. Ah. 18 and a half after the S-slip or just 18 and a half. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hope that you found the video interesting. Obviously, uh, a lot of these tools are not things that you're just going to have available to you. Um, a lot of them are special cheap metal working tools. But, uh, you know, if you have access to them, then this would be a helpful video. Otherwise, it might just be interesting seeing how we do that. We pretty much make one of these for every single furnace that we install because uh, the modern furnaces are like 30 inches tall and everything that they used to be putting in was like... 45 to 55 inches tall way taller so i don't know our furnaces are somehow more efficient and way smaller and don't last as long it seems but anyway hope that you enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you later